Hi there, welcome back to Call to Crawl Studios. Uh, this is Mailbox Someday, because someday your shit's going to come in, and today is that day for me. It's been a while since I've been able to do one of these episodes. I've been really busy in my real job, and so this is all had to sit on the back burner until I get time to sit down and open it all up. So anyways, excited to share this stuff with you today. I've got, first thing I want to share with you is this little Yokohama uh, RC car from back in the day. And this is what they called a, a promo car that Yokohama did to uh, did for tire dealerships. And this thing, some of these things are worth some pretty good sized money uh, if they're in great shape. This one obviously has been sitting forever. Uh, I'm sure spiders have moved in. There's still batteries in it from who knows how long ago. Uh, 27 megahertz is the a uh, little gizmo here for the transmitter. So I'm going to do a video on this and cleaning it up and kind of refurbishing it. Hopefully bringing it back to life. Uh, and then we'll see what if kind of value it's worth from there. So that is number one. My dad was doing a bunch of clean out. He used to work for a big O tires and, uh, and they used to get all kinds of promotional stuff like that. Pretty neat, huh? So uh, we'll start out with a little tiny box here. This one kind of broke open. I uh, one day I couldn't figure out what size shocks I really wanted kind of looked at my inventory of what I had and decided I probably needed everything so I ordered pretty much a set of every size they offered 50 millimeter 60 millimeter uh, looks like we got uh, 80 millimeter oh no these are 100 90 millimeter and uh, 80 millimeter so I got eight of the 80s eight of the 90s, four on the hundreds, and then four of each of the 60s and 50s. So looking forward to those. Um, if you probably take good care, you can probably keep them from leaking, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. So that's that. Uh, another thing I got from Amazon was a driver figure. And I don't know how many of you guys uh, and gals have ordered uh, these things, but they're a very poseable... A uh, six inch tall driver figure. I'd say probably six inches tall. Let's see. Six inches is that height right there. So yeah, that's a six inch driver figure uh, with all kinds of hand gestures. Uh, none of the ones I use, apparently. Um, they've got some, but they're missing the little finger that lets people know they're number one in their life. But we can fix that. We're hobbyists, for God's sakes. So yeah, super excited to get this body built. I don't know what I'm going to do with clothing and stuff. I'll probably have to buy some Barbie clothes or something. I don't know. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Mailbox someday. This is episode number 12, by the way. So, and it has been weeks since I've had a chance to get on here and share with you guys uh, my mail. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, we got a bunch of different colored... Um, Okay, yeah, these are the little, these are the little steering uh, stabilizers that are just a link, but they look like a steering stabilizer that you'd find on a full size. And I uh, wasn't sure what color that I wanted, so I got red, gold, kind of a gray, clear, uh, another gold, and it looks like they come also in different lengths, which is nice. So I ordered a bunch of those, so I'd have a good variety for when I'm building. Because, you know, it's nothing worse when you're building stuff and you're stuck. Because you can't move forward because you don't have the right part, right? So, I tend to err on the side of ordering more than I need. And uh, then I always have it. It just seems to make sense. So, <clears throat> have you guys heard the, uh, the big news? Uh, Harley Designs is considering quitting the scale news update. That's the worst idea ever. I mean, I get it. You know, it's a lot of work to put on this stuff. And, you know, what Josh does is amazing. I mean, he spends a lot of time on it and shares with us. Well, I'll tell you what. I sure look forward to my Tuesday morning cup of coffee watching the Scale News update. So, if you're watching, Harley, please continue that. Please, please, please continue that. I love the show. If you guys like that show, chime in below. Show him some love. All right, let's see. What else we got here? We got a couple of uh, 
off-road parts and some more drag links. Okay, yeah, I've uh, kind of maybe went overboard on those. I don't know. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, I got my tickets and my hotel and my rental Jeep all booked and ready to go for Beat the Creek. I've never been there. Uh, it's in Kentucky. Never been to Kentucky before. So I'm super excited to go check that out and see what that's all about. Uh, all right, so yeah, this is just a whole big bank of servos. Um, these are not high-powered type servos. These are going to be for, um, these are micro servos. And these are going to be for moving, waving arms on a float. So I, uh, my company is in the parades, local parades here, and I drive RC trucks that look like my company trucks in the parade. The kids love it. And uh, last year, I made a float uh, for the 4th of July parade, and I had people on it, and people in a hot tub, and it was, it was a hoot. And uh, not this year, but the next year after that, I'm going to make a float that is self-driving, and it has people on it, and they're all moving, and they're animated. And I plan on using micro servos to make that happen. So, micro servos. What else we got? We got all these little Amazon envelopes. <clears throat> Amazon been loving me. Oh, boy. Big envelope, little part. Another uh, steering link. You've got a bunch of those. And more steering links. Wow, I have got steering links for days. I definitely won't be lacking a color or length of steering link. And these things are really nice looking. So I don't think they were very much money either, which is always a bonus. Let's see here. This one is from Indiana. Who do I know in Indiana? I bet that's Matt Bowman. <clears throat> he did a mailbox video and he ended up getting a bunch of, uh, CC hand uh, parts for a bruiser. I own a bruiser. I own my original bruiser from 1985. But <clears throat> these CC hand parts aren't for that. These are for another Toyota build. And I think that's what's in here. Let's see what Matt packed for me. All of these goodies. See, we got some mirrors. His camera works way better than mine. Uh, we have got an instrument cluster. Uh, we've got headlights and front marker lights. That's very cool. We have Toyota door panels and more doodads to make it look authentic Toyota. That is so cool. Uh, we have, this is a three millimeter and it is a, I don't know, some kind of a shiny bed thing. Uh, does it say? Nope. But it's 3M. It probably goes in the bed. And uh, I may or may not use that. May or may I use parts of it. Oh, that's pretty handy there. Look at that dash. 3D printed dash, it looks like. And uh, it's just beautiful. I mean, it's, it's legit. I had an 82 Toyota 4x4 myself. Uh, I know what they're all about. And um, I'm going to do another uh, truck 110 scale and use the RC four-wheel drive truck. And, uh, oh, yeah, here's another dash. This one's a little simpler. Um, so that's cool. There's all kinds of goodies in here. Um, more than I even want to unload. Uh, these are nice. These are metal. Um bumpers nice uh rear bumper metal got the back cab this is a metal grill with the headlight buckets the turn signal buckets this is going to make one amazing truck uh got a plastic grill in here as well uh some other parts i don't quite recognize oh that's the uh that's the one that goes in the front to hold the body on. 
Uh, those are pretty cool. Got some Indiana Bruiser license plates. Uh, that's pretty sweet. That's a Bauhaus. Looks like uh, leaf spring mounts, maybe. And a bench seat. Simple. Uh, simple bench seat there, but effective. So, yeah, that's exciting. Um, there's all kinds of goodies in this box. And I am looking forward to, to building a Toyota truck out of this stuff. So, thank you, Matt. Appreciate the deal. And uh, Matt down there, Bowman, uh, Bowman built. Good guy. Hopefully I get to meet him at Beat the Creek. Cool. Well, that will go on the shelf for the build that is later. Uh, let's see. Why don't we just pop this guy open? This is such a... These Kyoshos are so sweet. There's one. There's two. No longer new. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah, that that's 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 pretty nice looking right there, huh? I love that color. Uh, I'll probably do an unboxing. I got an El Camino. I got to do an unboxing video on also. So I'll probably just uh, double them up and open them both up at the same time. Very neat. No breakage. I like that. Oh, looking forward to the hydroplane races. I don't know if you guys like hydroplanes, but uh, I'm I'm digging it. I dig hydroplanes. I think they're just a lot of fun to watch. Let's see what's in this box. Some of this stuff may or may not have anything to do with RC. Okay, uh, this is a, a table lamp, a cordless table lamp that I thought was kind of a cool idea. I am actually building, uh, let's see, there's, turn that around for you guys to see. I am actually building parking lot lights for RC. And uh, I've got some of them back here and they're in various stages of build. But here's my red, white, and blue one. This is a cement base. Uh, this is an aluminum shaft, and then it's got lights in here, LEDs underneath here, and these ones are red, white, and blue. And then underneath here is where there'll be a, a battery and a switch. And, uh, and the, the, the battery, the 9-volt rechargeable battery, lasts about 17 hours. So you'll be able to use these for, you know, drift courses, um, staging, making some cool pictures, Look, just like your parking lot lights you'll see at the grocery store uh, or the mall, if that's your bag. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, what else do we get here? Okay, so these are uh, remote control submersible LED lights. So these you can put, uh, you know, underwater. And they're submersible and programmable. And you can change the color. So I thought that was kind of a cool feature um, for... I've got a crawler course at home I'm working on. And I might be able to use that for. That, that lamp looks darn near 12.2 uh, inches. Mine are taller than 12.2. Well, mine, mine are definitely taller than 12.2. Same kind of idea, though, right? I mean, you know, mine obviously looks more legit. But uh, I just thought... It was so inexpensive through Amazon. I thought, well, I better pick that up, see what it's all about, see what kind of battery they run in there. Um, maybe it has more battery life than mine. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? This is from uh, Francisco Hernandez. I believe this is wheels. So we're going to open this up carefully. Oh, yeah, this is the, this is the wheel box. So, more Vanquish wheels. Uh, let's see, these are the, um, what are these? These are the uh, KMC uh, 1.9 Special. I think that's the wrong package for those. Uh, we've got a bunch of rings. Some used, some new, some out of package. I think he was just looking to move a bunch of stuff. It was time for it to go 
way. These are uh, red anodized. They're not flat. They almost look flat. What else we got in here? We got bullies. Uh, red tanks. Oh, those are the matte red tanks. I have two sets of matte red tanks. Unless these are the, yeah, wow. That's pretty exciting. Okay, so, you know, I'm a, I guess I like uh, Vanquish wheels. Uh, there's some red bullies here. What else we got? Uh, those go with those. Uh, those are black 310s. More red bullies. And 310s. All right. Francisco, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Hopefully you get to see this video. I don't know how long it's been since I ordered those from you. And maybe you've been watching the channel and it hasn't showed up. But here it is. This is the one you sent me these wheels. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We're going to organize those. And we'll put them up on the, uh, on the wall back here with the other Vanquish stuff. <clears throat> Good looking stuff there. All right. What else we got here? I was always one of those kids at Christmas time. My mom hated me. Because I would go underneath the tree and I would shake things. And I would guess. And I would be right. And my mom would be like, Argh. oh, this is a bonsai tree. I hope it's still alive. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Has anybody, do you, any of you guys out there do bonsai trees? So, yeah, I thought I wanted to try my hand at this bonsai tree thing. Still got moisture in there. So, hopefully that means it still has some life left to it. And uh, hopefully we'll get that thing going. You probably never see that again because that'll be at my house. But anywho, bonsai. All right, we are making progress here, huh? Oh, man. Okay, yeah. There's here's the other table lamp. There was two of them. I knew there was two of them when I bought them. And uh, yeah, this one's got kind of like a big shade. I don't know why they're gold. I don't really care for the color gold if that's the color that they are. But, uh, anyways, we might be able to use those for something interesting. Don't know what this is. Oh, a little jack. Gosh, I don't even remember ordering that jack, but we got a high lift jack. Looks like it's uh, anodized aluminum. That's pretty. Looks like it might even be functional. Functional. All right, making progress. Let's see what do we got here. Vanquish products. I'm guessing this is Vanquish parts. Let's find out. Looking forward to the nicer weather coming up. Uh, Going to be able to do a bunch more outdoor videos, crawling videos, stuff like that. All right, what do we got here? Okay, we got the 2.2 tanks, gold, 2.2 tanks in red. And two, I guess it was a tanks day for me, 2.2 uh, tanks in the uh, gray, dark gray. Um, really pretty. Kind of have a thing for Vanquish wheels, I guess. I don't know. I don't know who started it, who got me on them, but uh, shame on you because it's beginning to add up. Well, Vanquish wheels galore. What else we got here? This is another one that says Vanquish products. Well, let's open it up and find out, shall we? Just for grins and giggles, is there a date on this thing? Wow, that can't be right. What do we have here? Looks like I ordered just a bunch of pieces and parts. Uh, 
do 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 do. Aluminum front third member. Uh, aluminum uh, steering servo and winch mount. There's two of those guys. Uh, another aluminum front third member. Uh, that is the uh, lightweight machine gear set. Uh, more lightweight machine gears. Oh, here's those uh, those weights that they came out with for the front of the portals, I believe they are. And they're the kind of the centered or uh, pot metal type stuff. Pretty heavy. Uh, oh, we got the black um, portal covers. I think those just came back in stock. Good timing. I'm opening my box just as Vanquish gets their parts back in stock. Uh, what do we got here? We got a uh, sway brace. Uh, yeah, rock jock sway bar uh, in black and clear. Uh, we got a uh, servo horn in pink. We got a couple of grills for the Ford Ice. I got a few of those. Uh, looks like we've got the brass weights for the portal covers also. We have another set of the, the knuckle weights. There's two of those. You guys are probably wondering why Vanquish ran out. Well, maybe, I don't know. Uh, and then we got trailing arms. And these are for the Yeti trailing arms. But uh, they can be used for all kinds of cool stuff. So two sets of those. And that is it from Vanquish. And uh, I think that says... Nope, it just says thank you, but it's it's pink, and it looks like a little flower, and maybe some initials. So if you're watching this, and you work at Vanquish, and you did this, thank you so much. You did a great job packaging it. All right, let's get into the last box of the day. Move the Vanquish down the row here. This one is from uh, Scott Manis, and this is a RC four-wheel drive Toyota truck body. I know that without even opening it. How about that? Every now and then I do remember what I order. <clears throat> Sometimes it's better to just be surprised, but it's also kind of nice to kind of check it off and go, yeah, that's right. That came in good. This is brand new in box. So I'm not going to open it up all the way because I know you guys have seen these a million times. But I am going to take it out of his packaging, I think. Nice job boxing it, Scott. Holy cow. There it is. All right, seal's been broken, so I'll just go ahead and pop her open, double check it all. And it looks like we've got a great sticker sheet, instruction manual. Like I said, it's brand new from uh, RC Full Drive. So this is going to build Don's toy. And uh, that is my license plate, or was the license plate, on my 82 Toyota 4x4 that I had uh, just after high school. And I had bought with my own money. So anyway, that'll be fun to build that truck up and uh, have a truck that was from my past. So there you have it. Mailbox someday. Thanks so much for joining me. Stay tuned for some of the new videos coming out. Take care, you guys. See you later. Oh, smash the like button.